20 ways to stop iOS 11 battery drain. That video is coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to 20 ways to save battery life on your iPhone on iOS 11. I've been getting this comment so frequently, Nick, my iOS 11 battery is horrible. It's draining so fast. How do I fix this? This is a serious issue for my smartphone. Well, I got 20 ways to do this for you here. Now, before we get into them, a couple of prerequisites. This is an iOS 11.0.3 on my phone. It doesn't matter which iOS 11 version you're on. Even if you're on 11.1, that doesn't matter as well. We're gonna give you as many tips as we can here. So let's get into the first one. Okay, guys, so the first one is pretty basic common sense. If you have used iOS, you know, quite frequently, you know this one, but make sure you have low power mode in your customized control center, as well as use it when necessary because this will save you quite a lot of battery one of the most battery saving features you're going to get here so go into control center here on your iphone and go to customize controls when you get into customize controls i want you to scroll down mine's already enabled and find the low power mode and hit the green button to turn it into the control center another way to access this low power mode is to go into battery and turn on low power mode and use this as frequently as possible you will take a decrease in performance but only a slight one and you will save a good chunk of battery life so that's pretty much tip number one let's get into tip number two okay guys so tip number two is going to be lower your auto lock time so you know a lot of times we forget about this but going into display you see this auto lock here in settings and you can make this down to 30 seconds i have it at two minutes just because i leave the phone on the table for notes and stuff like that when i'm doing videos but if you're not really you know worried about you know putting your phone in your pocket and not thinking about it too much you might want to put this on 30 seconds because your screen will stay on for a long time and affect draining your battery life. So that's tip number two. Okay, guys, so tip number three also resides in settings, and this has to do with email. So we're going to scroll down until we find accounts and passwords. We're going to click fetch new data, and we're going to make sure the push is off. So make sure that is off. Now, what this means is that your emails are not going to be pushing constantly to your phone and affect draining battery life. And also, if you want to be a little bit more ambitious, you can go down here to where it says fetch and turn this on manually. What this means is when you go into an email, for example, you're going to have to manually pull down that thing and make sure that everything is refreshing manually. You're not going to be able to just have it open up with all your new emails. So it's a little bit, you know, more manual work you got to do when using these apps, but this will save you battery life. Okay, guys. So tip number four is also in settings, and this has to do with auto brightness. Now, for some odd reason, Apple decided to remove auto brightness from their display settings. So what you got to do now is you have to go into general. You have to go into accessibility. You have to go into display accommodations, and there is auto brightness. Now, I do recommend you turn on auto brightness to save battery life. And some people will say, well, if my screen is doing a bunch of stuff, why would that save me battery life? Actually, no, the phone will actually lower the brightness in darker conditions, which will in effect save you battery life. It kind of knows when to keep the screen bright and dim. Now, if you are in light, lighted conditions all day, like outside, this might actually drain more battery life. So you might want to do it manually. But if you are just constantly switching between outside and dark, environments like indoors this is going to be a great feature for you to turn on so turn that on now if you're the type of person who's manually constantly messing with your brightness on your own then this is not really necessary for you and i would just try to keep that brightness as low as possible which most people should know by now but some people still forget about this auto brightness feature so that's another battery saving tip here okay guys so coming in at number five here is to disable the cellular when you're not using it so cellular data is actually very easy to disable now you see that little green icon there cellular data you can go ahead and turn that off when you're on wi-fi there's no need really to have cellular data especially if you're messaging iphone users that are using imessage most of it's going to go right through your wi-fi connection so i turn that off as well to save some battery life here if you are connected to wi-fi Another way to get to that is you can go into settings here. Let's go back all the way to the regular settings menu and cellular is right there front and center. You can just go ahead and turn it off there as well. You'll see it respectively will turn off here on the phone. 
Okay guys, another one is AirDrop. So if you're using a Mac or multiple iPhones and you're using an iPad, you might wanna go ahead and make sure you disable AirDrop. This will drain some battery life, so turn that off. And while you're at it, if you do have your Bluetooth on all day, you're in effect also draining your battery life a lot. So go ahead and turn your Bluetooth off when not using it. Okay guys, so the next one comes in the way of settings. So let's go into settings here and let's go back and let's go into general here. And we're gonna go to background app refresh and we wanna make sure background app refresh is off. And if you do need some apps in the background refreshing, go ahead and make sure it's on Wi-Fi only. We're gonna go back here and disable the ones you don't need. You see, I have them all ticked on because I don't have it on period, so I never went through them. But if you need background app refresh on, go ahead and tick off all the ones you don't need to save yourself some battery and put it on the Wi-Fi mode only. But I would really recommend for the best battery saving techniques, go ahead and turn it off completely on your iPhone. Okay guys, coming in at number nine has to do with location services. So we're gonna go back here and we're gonna go into the privacy settings and we're gonna go into location service. You see, I have mine on, but I should have them off to save battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off location services. I really think the only time you need location services when you're tagging people in social media or if you're using the maps, which you can just go ahead and go into your settings and turn it off, you know, and then save yourself battery all day by not having them on. So make sure you have that off. Okay guys, so for number 10 has to do with display again. Let's go ahead and go on display and let's make sure raise to wake is off. Now I already have it off because I don't really like that feature, but you know, that feature is definitely draining battery that raise to wake. So make sure that is off on your iPhone. At number 11 is wallpapers. So do not use the dynamic wallpapers here that is included with your iPhone. So if you go to choose new wallpapers, you have the ability to put on these dynamic wallpapers, which make these little effects that actually are like a live video running behind your applications. Have those off if you wanna save battery life, as well as live wallpapers. Those The live wallpapers don't do too much, but I would still just go with static on both the lock screen as well as the home screen to save you battery life on iOS 11. Okay guys, so at number 12 has to do with fitness tracking. So we wanna go into our settings and privacy settings and go down to motion and fitness and turn off fitness tracking. Now this is combined with the health application. So if you are an Apple health user, the quite frequently, you might wanna turn this back on when you're doing your exercises and stuff like that. Or if you're using your Apple Watch to track your steps, this kind of works in well with the iPhone. So you might not wanna turn this off, but I don't think everyone's using this. So this is a battery saving tip here. It will drain battery because it's constantly tracking you all day. And that's usually enabled by default with new iOS install. So make sure you turn that off. At number 13 is a pretty simple tip that I think most of us use, but when you are like underground or you're in a place where you have no signal or connection, use airplane mode. Now, a lot of people just use this when they're literally on an airplane, but when you don't have signal or you're having signal issues, turn on airplane mode and use Wi-Fi through airplane mode. You can use Wi-Fi while on airplane mode. So I would definitely recommend that to save you some battery life. At number 14 comes in the way of disabling widgets. So go ahead and disable widgets here. And this these widgets right here, I do have enabled. I'm not disabling them here for this phone because this phone gets great battery life but if you have an older phone that's really struggling go ahead and disable all the widgets that will save you some battery life another tip is not really something you can change on the phone but something that you can stop doing that you probably do quite frequently and that's go through and kill all of your apps stop killing all of these apps frequently. There's no need to do this because what you're doing in effect is restarting apps, which is in effect draining your battery life. So don't keep killing your apps. I know it's quite fun to go ahead and do this all day, but it's really gonna drain some battery life on your phone. Okay, so the next one has to do with the flashlight. So we all use the flashlight pretty much on a daily basis. Not all of us, but I think a lot of us do use this flashlight quite frequently. Have its preset to one. So keep it at the lowest preset possible and this will save you battery life when using the flashlight because when you use the flashlight and you have it on full brightness it's going to use the most power possible from the phone to light that true tone flash up as much as possible so keep that on the one signal right there just on one right there when you're using your flashlight Okay guys, so the next one is Wi-Fi Assist. So we're gonna go into settings here and we're gonna go back until we find cellular. Now let's go into cellular, scroll all the way down past all of these settings and down here you wanna turn on Wi-Fi Assist. Now this, what this does is it basically has the cellular and Wi-Fi working in tandem for when you have a weak Wi-Fi signal. Now when you don't have this on, Apple is going to use a lot of power to find the most, the strongest signal in your area when you're using Wi-Fi or basically, you know, really try to get that Wi-Fi working. But when you have this on, what's gonna do is switch between your LTE as well as your Wi-Fi. So you can say most efficient
efficient when using the internet, which is going to save battery life because if you have a weak connection, it's going to be trying really hard to pull in that signal. So having that on, they work in tandem. They work with each other to save you battery life. So have that on Wi-Fi Assist. Okay guys, so one of the next ones comes in the way of Siri. Now, a lot of people love Siri, so if you love Siri and all these functions, you might not like this tip, but it will save battery life. Going into Siri and search, turn off the Hey Siri function here. And how do we do this? It should say it right up here at the top. Listen for Hey Siri, press home for Hey Siri. Turn these off. Actually, don't turn off press home because that turns off Siri, but turn this one off right here. Listen for Hey Siri. That is going to save you battery life because the phone is constantly analyzing whether you're saying Hey Siri or not in effect draining your battery life. Okay guys, so the last one is to disable sending data to Apple. So let's go into privacy here and let's scroll all the way down until we see analytics so go into analytics and make sure that this share analytics is off and this one is off as well and a bonus tip here for 21 i'm just going to give you an extra one advertising make sure you have limit ad tracking on because this basically limits the ads that are being sent to your phone and it's going to just save you battery life so have that one on as well so that's pretty much my 20 tips on how to save battery life on iOS 11, how to stop it. If you implement all of these tips, I guarantee you, you will see a significant increase in your battery life. The one that's probably the most powerful is the low battery power mode, which most of us already know. Some people are even getting bad battery life on that. And I know a lot of people are going to say, I knew every single one of these tips. Well, if you knew them all cool, then you're an iOS expert because there's not much more you can do than disabling a whole bunch of stuff and using you know the phone not to its full capabilities to save battery life if it's bad then it might be a hardware defect and it might be that you're just using your phone to the max now people you know drive a car if you drive a car you know if you step if you floor it at every light you are going to suck gas same with a phone if you're running it to the max it's going to drain at its max potential so don't run it like you know at the full potential beast mode and it won't go ahead and drain battery as fast so all these tips here should help you get through the day pretty easily and if you found this video helpful enjoyable go ahead and click the like button for me share this with a friend who's having this issue as well and if you're new here consider subscribing nick here helping you to master your technology be sure to be well i will catch you all in the next one and peace